Hi, and welcome to Retroeric. Today I'm going to share uh, a thing that I just uh, found out. Uh, this uh, scar to HDMI uh, converter that I bought on uh, eBay for about uh, 40 50 uh, euros. Um, it did not work as I would expect. Uh, when connecting an RGB signal, uh, it would do nothing. But when connecting a composite signal, it worked fine. So I opened it up just to see if I could, uh, if I was lucky and could see if anything were wrong on it. And I was lucky because the SCART connector was uh, soldered badly on. This is a picture that I took before uh, I repaired it. And as you can see on the picture, the pin 16 and pin 18 is connected. Uh, and that means that if we look here at the SCART uh, description, it says that pin 16 is the blanking signal. Uh, when receiving RGB, the blanking signal should be between 1 and 3 volt. But because there was a short circuit between, between uh, pin 16 and pin 18, and pin 18 is the ground signal, the voltage would never reach 1 volt. And that would mean that this would be in a status where it would expect composite signal always. And never uh, would it ever receive our RGB signal. So when uh, just removing some solder, extra solder there, uh, I tested it and it worked perfectly. Now it can receive uh, composite signals and RGB signals. So I'm happy uh, that the quality was okay and I'm happy with the product. One more thing before I log off. Um, you can see the heatsink here. That was not on uh, the PCB when I received it. But uh, I felt that the chip uh, got very hot, too hot to, uh, to even touch. So I just put this heatsink on in uh, hope that it would uh, prolong the life of the unit. Okay, that was uh, my experience with this uh, SCART to HDMI uh, converter. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel.